Hi, I'm Vanessa with the Newport Public Library. Did you know one of the free resources available with your Newport Public Library card is access to Hoopla? What's Hoopla? Hoopla is a way for you to get ebooks, audiobooks, movies, and music all at home using your own device. It's free with your Newport Public Library card. Let's see how. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to register for Hoopla using a web browser. Hoopla is a service offered by your local library, offering you access to over 700,000 audiobooks, ebooks, movies, TV shows, music, and even comic books for free using your library card and Hoopla. For this video, I'll show you how to register and find content to borrow using a web browser. You can also register using an Android or an iOS device, and you can find tutorials for those platforms by clicking on the link in the description below. In your web browser, just go to hoopladigital.com. And now here you'll see that I got a pop-up asking if Hoopla can automatically detect my location. By allowing this, it helps Hoopla find a participating library nearby. Now the first time you come to Hoopla, you'll need to register using your library card. And when you come back, Hoopla will typically remember you, so you shouldn't have to enter your password very often. In order to register, you'll need a library card from your participating library, and you may also need a PIN if your library requires it. Let's start by entering our email address and choosing a password. After entering your email and choosing a password, you'll also have an opportunity to review our terms and conditions and our privacy policy before agreeing to move forward. On this next screen, I can choose my sponsoring library. For me, it's suggesting my local library just a few miles down the road because it detected it in my location. Now, if you didn't allow this, or if it didn't work for some reason, or you just like to choose a library in another location, you can do that by entering the name of the library, the name of the city, or the zip code for the area you'd like to search. Let's give that a try here. I'll enter in a different zip code from where I live. And so if that were my local library, I could choose it now and enter my library card number. I could also search by city name. So if I were searching for Los Angeles, I could just type in Los Angeles. It's that easy. So let's go back to my original search. I'm going to choose Toledo Public Library because that's where I have my card. So I'll choose my library and click Next. Now when I get to the next screen, it will ask me for my library card number. Your library may also ask for a PIN number and you'll need to have that to sign up for Hoopla. If you don't know it, just give your library a call. This screen also may offer you the option to register for an online card with your library. So if you don't already have a library card and your library offers this option, it's a great way to get a card immediately online. Finally, you may also have a box here that says, I don't have a library card, but I'd still like to try Hoopla. If your library offers this option, you can move forward even if you don't have a library card. So at this point, I'll just type in my library card number and click sign me up. This completes your registration for Hoopla. Before you get started, we'd like you to take note of your local library's phone number. If you have problems, they'd love to assist you. It's easy to get started. For example, if you find a title you're interested in, like this book about Fred Rogers, just click borrow to borrow the title. That's all for this video. Have fun exploring Hoopla Digital.